Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Sparks and for this week's automation recipe, we're gonna take a look at automated email processing. So um, imagine that someone has a job in which they're monitoring an email account and they, uh, they need to make changes to downstream applications based on um, the content of those emails. So what we're gonna do is go over a bot that can automate this process and then free up that worker for more meaningful tasks. So for this scenario, um, we have set up a Gmail account and a Postgres database that we're going to leverage um, and use in our script to call. So for our email account, you'll see that I have just a, a test email server or a test email account on the Gmail um, called IBM WDG testing. Um, and within this account, you'll see that we have a few messages in our inbox. Um, these first three we're going to call RTS one, two, and three. The second two are MFS one and three. And then the last email is just a, an email that has an attachment um, associated with it. So what we're gonna do in our bot is kind of look for some of these uh, subjects and then make decisions based on those subjects and maybe do some, some um, downstream processing. So for our database, we just have a simple Postgres database um, and just one table here. And you'll notice that this table correlates to those emails. So we have MFS1, MFS2, and MFS3. So what we're going to do is use this bot to connect to this email server. Um, we're going to try and detect these MFS emails. Once we do detect that, we're going to reach out to our database and we're going to mark that as red. Um, so let's say that um, for like a real life example, you might uh, need to show that you have received some sort of documents and some other application. In our case, we're going to use this Postgres database to represent the fact that we have received that email and has been marked red. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just kind of take you through the bot commands um, and then we'll run the bot so we can see what that might look like. So for this particular bot, uh, it's not too many commands. You'll see um, looks like a total of around 15 commands to get this done. Um, so what we'll start with here is we're going to connect to that email server. And we'll go through each one of these commands and kind of show you what's going on here. Um, for this particular command, we're going to use um, that email address and the email password to go ahead and log in. We're going to provide the IMAP address. Um, and this is different for, e for um, whatever particular email server you're going to use. Um, but if you're going to use the SSL to, to read and send emails, you need to use port 993 for the IMAP. Um, we're going to go ahead and toggle the send emails because one thing we're going to do is once we've um, recognized that maybe we have an attachment, we're going to send an email out sh showing that we can send emails as well too. So we'll use the same, um, same story here. We just need the SMTP address along with that port number, which in this case is 587. We'll use the same email address and password to start sending those emails too. I mean, once this connection is successful, you'll see that the output here is a server connection. I and mean, we're going to use that to access the emails and different uh, pieces of information about that particular email server. Next, we're going to go ahead and connect to our Postgres database. Um, this is fairly simple. You'll see it's just a simple connection string here. Um, you can find this online um, documentation for whatever database that you're connecting to. You should be able to find a connection string online that'll allow you to connect. Um, using this command. And similar to the email command, what this is going to do is provide us that connection variable so we can start uh, reading and writing and doing some SQL commands later in the, in the bot. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to count the number of emails. Um, so we'll take that email connection and we're going to peel off the number of emails that are uh, within that inbox. And you can look at different folders within the, the email server so if you don't want to just mess with inbox. We'll go ahead and log the email count here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take each one of those emails and we're going to apply some rules to it. So what this is doing is this for each is saying for each email message within the email server connection, we're going to do something. So let's go through those somethings that we're going to do here. The first something is we're going to read the email. So you'll notice that we're passing in that email message that we're using in our for each, and we're peeling off the email subject and the email body. And those are the things that we're gonna use to um, both make decisions and, and make some updates in those, those tables. So we'll go ahead and log that as well, the subject and the body. Now, this is our first time that we're gonna make a decision here. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to say if that email subject equates to test attachment email, we'll let the um, log know, hey, we've, we've recognized an attachment. We're going to go ahead and download it, and we're going to place it locally on the machine here. So I will open that up, and you'll see that we don't have any um, text documents or any attachments quite yet. But once we run the bot, you'll notice that they will um, be populated here when they are recognized. So that's our first little conditional. Um, next, we'll move on to our second conditional here. So same idea. We're going to look at that email subject. And if that email subject contains this acronym, MFS, then we're going to drop inside that if statement and we're going to perform some actions. So similar to the, to the email attachment here, we're going to go ahead and log that we have detected a, um, an MFS email. And then we're going to proceed to update the database for that particular email. So next, we'll move on to that update. Just a simple SQL command. We're going to update our test table. We will set the red column to yes for that email subject. So let's see what that would look like. So if we recognize that we have an MFS1 email, we will come here and we will update this to mark it as red. So maybe some, some downstream applications leverage this table to, to understand if something has been processed or, or not processed. That might be a, um, an application that could be used for this particular scenario. So we'll go back here. And now that we have updated that command, we're going to go ahead and send an email out um, to the same email address to, just to see that we can send it um, and that it has detected that MFS up, update. But this could be sent to to whoever you'd like, right? But just for testing purposes, we're going to use the same um, email list. And you'll notice that that is designated here. So this will be a list of emails in which um, this will be sent to. So what we'll do, and, and also here you'll see that we've marked the subject as the subject that was incoming, and we've said that we've updated the table along with the body that says update successful. So this, des this destination list here is marked within our variables. So what I'll do is I will turn our variables on and we can take a look at some of those. So here's our destination list. And this is simply just a list of texts. Um, and in our case, just a single email address. And this is where that final email is gonna be sent out to notify um, that we've received that MFS and we've updated the SQL or updated the tables using the SQL. And we have the email address here, simple email password. Um, again, we have variables for our connection. So this would be our email connection here, as well as our DB connection. Um, and then these are just our, our logging properties, right? So the, the count that we log, the message in the body that we use throughout the, the script. So now what I will do is I will go ahead and run this and we'll take a look at the output and we'll see um, exactly how this is working here. Okay, you'll see that it's running down here. And what we'll do is take a look at this log and see what it did. So we've connected to our email server, connected to our Postgres database. We have counted the emails, and then this is our first log. So you can see here our email count is six. We'll go check that. You'll notice that we have two updates here. Let's ignore those and just count the number of emails that were there initially. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we'll go back to our bot. And now you'll see that we are processing each one of those emails. So right now we're living here in this for each and we're gonna see these log messages as they come in. So our first email was RTS1 and the body RTS1 test. And you'll notice that we don't have any conditionals for those RTS emails. So we just skip it. We'll move on to our second email, RTS2, same scenario. RTS3, again, same scenario. And now we hit our first MFS. So we'll move down here. If our email subject contains MFS, so let's take a look at that first one. MFS1 here. We hit our log message, MFS detected. Now we're going to move to updating that database. So now we've run the SQL command to update our database. So let's go check that out. 
we go here, go back to our database. What we'll do is we'll rerun this query to pull out, pull back that full table. And you'll notice down here that they have changed from no to yes. So that's because we've recognized it within our bot script and we've gone, gone ahead and run this SQL for those recognized emails. So you'll see that MFS3 was recognized and updated right here. MFS1 was recognized and updated right here. And then lastly, we're hitting our, our last email, which is our, our attachment email. So that looks what that looks like is here. We've said if our email subject has test attachment email, in our case, it does. What we're going to do is go ahead and download that attachment. So you'll see here in our um, location, I'll go ahead and pull that up. We want scenario seven. You'll notice that we have now downloaded that attachment and placed it on the machine. So this is just kind of a template for you to get started, for you to understand how to maybe connect to some email servers and start playing with um, automatically detecting some emails and taking actions. Um, this could be set up like a queuing system where you recognize that the emails come in. You could run this on a schedule or you could even um, make it an attended bot that is kind of ran ad hoc when you know that there's some updates in that email account that you need to process. Um, on top of connecting to that email, we've kind of demonstrated a, a simple way to connect to this database here. Um, and you don't have to use Postgres, right? We have connections for all the different databases here. But this just kind of outlines a very simple scenario where you provide that connection string and, and you, you create that connection so you can start running those SQL commands. And, and with that, you can just see how, we, how easy it is to build a bot to start automating processes like, like handling emails and making these updates to downstream applications. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it.